Okay. So, uh, yeah, myself is uh, Srinivas. I have overall uh, 10 years, uh, more than 10 years of experience. I'm currently working. Uh, today, uh, what we need to discuss about uh, testing, right? So, what is testing, guys? Anybody have any idea about testing? Anyone? Anyone know what is the meaning of testing? Testing means what? Before we start the session, uh, just I want to ask you what is testing means what? What is meaning of testing, guys? Anyone have an idea? Anyone? Okay. So what is testing, guys? to okay. so before we start the manual testing what is testing guys anyone anyone have the idea okay what is software guys anyone what is software what is the meaning of software anyone So in testing, not only in testing guys, in any IT company, the communication is very, very important. Okay, whether you know or you don't know, but you need to respond. The first interview question is what? You know, what is your first interview question? Can you introduce yourself and tell me about your roles and responsibilities? So the communication is very, very important. Okay, whatever you know, you need to express that, okay? If you sit quite right, uh, might be they think in the wrong way. Okay. So, okay. Before going to the testing, what is software? Okay. What is software, guys? Anyone know? What is meaning of software? Software means what? Uh, someone? Uh, uh, correct. It is oh, application. Sorry? It is? An application. Ah, an application. Yes, correct. So it Actually, is an testing means whenever hmm. we are having anything, any product, uh, hmm. not at all an uh, application or something. If hmm. we are having any device also, before moving hmm. into market, we should test that one. Hmm, correct. Excellent. That is correct, Tony, right? Then why you are sitting silent? So that is what in interview, they will not ask what is testing. So they will... Check your what is thinking, what you are thinking on your mind. That is very, very important. Yes, that is what you said is absolutely correct. Before we launch any product in the market, they need to do some kind of testing. So, testing is mandatory. What is called mandatory? Mandatory means what? Compulsory. So, people are saying that uh, uh, data science or people are saying that AI, artificial intelligence, the people are saying the cloud technology, uh, AI will do all the testing. No, that we are not agree with that. AI cannot think like us, right? AI, what you think that you are developing the AI tool, but AI is always not think like you. Okay. So, do, don't think that uh, AI can do all the things. Okay. So even in future, okay, in future, I'm talking about in future, AI will come also. AI also is working properly or not, that you need to test. That is what the power of testing. People are saying that there are no openings in the testing, there is no jobs. No, I'm not, not agree with them. There are plenty of jobs. You can, after the class, you can open that Google and you can search what is the current openings for manual and automation. There are plenty of jobs for automation roles. But before going to the automation role, we need to know what is exactly the testing means. Okay. What is exactly meaning of testing? Understanding, right? In case you want to build any new product, that is also need to be test. Okay. So in market, go with any technology. SAP, SAP testing is required. Database, database testing is required. And mobile applications, uh, the mobile testing is required. Okay. And data science, uh, data science is also we need to uh, need testing. Power BI, if the people are talking, you want to 25 lakhs, 30 lakhs package or 45 lakhs package. Even Power BI is also required the testing. SAP testing. Okay. 
so any kind of application any applications in the market not only application or a product or anything the testing is required understanding right so without testing we cannot launch the product in the market okay that is main important one forget about the salary people are saying that the testing will get 3 lakhs 4 lakhs no i don't agree with that if you have a good knowledge you know testing manual testing you know you know automation testing you know you know api you know then you can demand in the market minimum 8 lakhs to 9 lakhs package minimum if you know python then you can you can demand your salary near to 12 lakhs to 13 lakhs package it depends on your skills not only only manual okay don't say uh, manual there is no jobs i am not agree with that okay there are plenty of jobs will be there and easily to get into the job within a short period of the time and you need to make good skills like i told you right manual automation and the api testing and if you know linux or if you are in good in networking side if you know the networking concept you can go with networking testing or cyber security testing you can go with performance you are in good in performance side you can go and you can go with the performance side see there are a lot of ways you can choose your platform if as a developer means you can stick with uh, four to five years within the same platform but uh, testing is not like that you can that is depends on your knowledge you are in good in that particular knowledge you can switch okay but uh, without testing we cannot launch the product in the market understanding right now for what reason we are doing the testing can anyone for what purpose we are doing the testing anyone testing is important just now we discussed but what reason what for what purpose we are doing the testing anyone whether the product or device is working as per our request yes as per or the as requirement per requirement or not excellent correct correct right most of the people what they will say that what is the purpose of testing means they simply say that finding the defects please don't say that word defects can find anyone not only you a defect can find anyone not only you guys okay in case you are you land testing and you are finding the defects the, don't say that testing means uh, finding the defects that is the wrong answer sorry what purpose we are doing the testing quality how you define the quality how you know it is a quality product anyone now you are buying any product how you know that it is a quality product so testing is done for what quality now the second question is what how you define the quality how you define the quality how can you say this is a quality product with the testing only right so with the testing and everything is done then only you can say it is a quality product without testing you cannot say it is a quality product right so how can you define it is a quality product means to justification of what all the requirements what are the requirements is given okay in the application if you fulfill all the requirements definitely you can say that it's a quality product okay so interview definitely they will ask you say you are testing on this product how you know it is 100% is working the simple question they will ask in interview you are testing this application how you know it is working 100% so what is your answer there so how you will uh, check the quality justification of what all the requirements suppose requirement 1 you are done requirement 2 you are done requirement 3 you are done requirement 4 you are done so you can simply say definitely it will work no doubt at all because we covered all the requirements uh, all the justification of what all the requirement requirement 1 is covered requirement 2 is covered requirement 3 is also we tested requirement 4 also we tested so 100% you can say that it is a quality product no doubt at all without testing you cannot say this right with you are not test anything you cannot uh, talk with your client also you cannot uh, say that it is working because one time you can tell lie but every time you cannot tell the lie right it won't accept everyone every time they won't accept okay one time only they will listen you are saying without testing you are saying that it is working means the client will work and this application and simply say that it is rejected 
but if you tested this application we have the proof we have what proof will be there hey we cover requirement 1 we cover requirement 2 we cover requirement 3 requirement 4 is also we covered so definitely we will get what a quality product so that the reason every organization if you go with the tcs infosys wipro with there has a huge number of testing team will be there value labs you heard about that value labs completely that organization is completely is uh, testing team is there signity you heard about that company name the signity is completely half of the team is testing team will be there understanding right without testing okay without testing we cannot launch any product in the market even cloud technology now people are talking about cloud aws gcp okay azure so in in future i'm talking about the future forget about the application in suppose you want to learn about uh, cloud technology even cloud how the cloud is working how we can create the instance how we can create the server how it is working that is all we need to be tested then only once we tested right once you given the proof like testing team need to give the proof it is working as expected then only they will go with the market that is what the power of testing understanding right don't say definition testing is uh, to finding the defects if you say like that right they will reject immediately there is no other question for you they simply say that our hr will call you okay so in interview you need to explain what is your importance if if they hire you if they hire you what is your roles and what is your responsibilities you need to explain them don't buy hurt here what we are learning is completely a practical knowledge so once you complete this course like manual or automation you can go to 2 3 to 4 years of experience easily you can go because we are going with the real time scenarios okay okay that's good so now tell me guys anyone what is difference between manual testing and automation testing anyone anyone have the idea what is the difference between manual testing and automation testing what is meaning of automation testing and what is the meaning of manual testing hmm go ahead correct what automation testing uh, done by selenium tool sir hmm correct ha uh, manual correct. testing is human, human interaction uh, correct see that is correct yes we want your input see whether it is right or wrong that secondary point but you need to speak yes what is that person is say that absolutely correct but don't say it's an a selenium tool you can use any tool selenium is a part of automation you can say that automation we can use by tools manual means without using any tool suppose i want to launch this browser see i launch the browser and i want to enter the amazon amazon site whatever i'm doing here everything is manually i'm doing right when you're talking about automation right you can use some any tool see suppose i want to use uh, ide okay suppose some tools i'm using here okay so what is selenium ide here it will be record your uh, script and it will be play see now i want to execute some see i want to do automation here okay so what i'm doing i'm using some tool okay just i'm copying that url and the pasting in the tool now project name demo you can give anything demo okay now it is asking seeing the next automation tools or what all are record and play only okay now just if i say that okay just i'm clicking what record see i'm not enter anything automatically the site will be launched now i'm clicking about us selenium right downloads now documentation uh, now project okay now support okay i'm doing some automation here just i'm recording that actions okay once it is done simply stop the thing so it is asking the test case name you can give anything test case 001 01 see previously what we did manual process 
see here what we did manual process simply i launched the browser and i am doing myself everything right every amazon i am opening and i am clicking myself but whereas an automation is not like that i am just record at one time i can execute multiple times see this is already recorded now you observe this one if i click run right see i am not doing anything automatically site will launch and automatically it done and it is show that uh, your test case is completed a fraction of seconds it is completed this we can call it as what automation now i hope you understand what is the difference between manual testing and automation testing because most of the people they are still they are not clear about what is manual and what is automation automation means they don't say selenium selenium is what one part of automation it is one tool there are multiple tools in an automation okay understanding right is it clear guys so manual testing means what whatever we are doing ourselves without using any tools and any script but when you are talking about uh, automation means we are using what uh, some tools right and we are writing some script the script will execute you, you can run multiple times see one time i'm writing the script and i'm executing multiple times okay so this we can call it as what uh, difference between the manual testing and automation testing is it clear guys anybody have any question so far anybody is it clear yes sir no uh, sir i have one mm. doubt yeah please regarding the ahead. batch it was started uh, last ah. week ah, what ah. about that batch sir no 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 that will be continue this is what add on batch it's only okay. for 3 day it's only for 3 days okay i think they, okay. they send the message i think no uh, no, I, I no think... message we received oh then it's the problem i think they need to send a message i uh, mm -hmm. even they talk with me they ask you uh, you can guys can continue this one otherwise you can wait for two days maximum this is only three days class okay once okay. three days is done then we can continue our regular sessions okay okay it's a only add on okay you can yeah, you already know all these things right if you want you can continue otherwise you can drop out not a problem okay okay it's only for two Two days, okay. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Good. Uh, yeah. So where we are in? So this is what uh, automation. Okay, automation means what we are using what the, some script. Here we are using what some script. So based on the script we can execute. So this is what the mainly the difference between the manual testing and automation testing. Okay. And one more thing, guys. Can you please confirm? Are you able to see my screen? Yes or no? No, it's not visible for me. Oh my God! I see that is the problem. I am showing mm -hmm. the recording and everything. Uh, that's the uh, that's the reason you need no, to speak. Now, uh, oh my God! Uh, I I completely executing myself. Okay, thank you, guys. See what I am explaining here. the manual testing means uh, you just you need to open any application and click enter see what you are doing here you are clicking yourself right now see clicking all the things is or yourself right this kind of testing we can call it as what manual testing when you talking about automation see you need to take a tool see i am taking selenium ide tool see i think yeah, this is all i am telling but okay anyhow i am repeated again so simply take any site okay selenium dot hq so suppose i want to automation this site okay just what you can do you can copy this site in the tool okay i am using what selenium id see here it is asking create a new project you can give demo 1 2 3 anything you can give click okay see here what you need to do simply you can give the uh, what what automation you required that url you can give okay simply what you can do you can do record here so recording will be started just i want automation this one click about selenium download documentation and supports okay now you can stop your script okay just i'm stop my recording and give the test case name test case 1 click okay okay now see this is what automation 
you are right you are recording and it will generate some script right this script this script will execute multiple times whenever you want you can execute this script see simply i am running my test case okay see observe this one i am not doing anything it automatically playing all the things see if you observe that the test case is completed successfully so this is what the difference between the manual testing and automation testing understanding right so what is manual there is no we are not using any tools or we are not using we are not writing any programming knowledge there simply that giving the requirements based on the requirements you are testing the application you are just testing the application but when you are talking about automation you need to use some tools the tools is very very important required so someone may say that right selenium you can use selenium or you can use any other tools also okay is it clear guys what is difference between manual and uh, automation yes or no is it clear yes, for sir. everyone yes good so if you see the practical right you never forget this one okay so that is one of the most important one see before we start the testing what is software okay we are working on the software right someone is already said that uh, before we launch the so uh, software in the market we need to check the testing okay whether the software is working properly or not yes that is correct what is software the software is a collection of programs okay where it will takes input from the user and it will do some process finally it will give what output now as a tester what is your job what is your role you are writing the code no right you are not write any code right you will check the process no you will not check the process from back and what is happening you will not do but what is your job you need to check this output whether this output you are getting correctly or not you need to check that is only your job how you know you are getting correct output or not can anyone how you know you are not writing any program you are not doing any you are not checking back and what is happening but how you know whether you are getting correct output or not can anyone do you understand what is my question you are not writing any programming knowledge there you are not checking what is back end is happening but output when you are getting that output right that output is correct or not how you confirm whether it is correct or not can anyone how you confirm guys you are not writing any programming right and you don't know what is happening back end then how you confirm how you confirm whether you are getting the correct output or not do you understand my question you are giving some input and it will do some process finally it is giving some output this output is correct or not how you can define this output is correct or not can anyone how you know guys that is correct or not can you hear me hmm. how you know that output is correct or not so i told you right requirements how we will test that application just now some people are say that right we need to check according to the requirements or not what is testing the tested developed application any developed application whether it is working according to what client requirements or not so if you have a zero programming knowledge okay that's fine you don't know any programming knowledge that's fine you don't know what is happening the back end also you, you don't know that's fine but uh, simple guys here they will give you user name okay user name and password and login now we are not writing any code we don't know what is happening the back end but after entering these values how you know whether it is working correctly or not how you know so can anyone want to answer how you know whether you are getting correct answer or not based on your requirement in requirements is very clearly says that user name admin password admin 
after click login click on click on login after login admin page should be displayed see how it is easy for testing you need to understand what required here you are you are going with the code no right i am not going any code here okay i am I'm, i'm not checking what is happening back end what database what connectivity what how the tables are there i am not checking anything so that is what is saying so what is software the software is nothing but it's a collection of program the program can be written by java the program can be written by python the program can be written asp.net the program can be written, written by c sharp i don't bother about what the programming language they are using as a tester i am not required the programming knowledge as a manual tester i am not required you can write dotnet application you can create a java application you can create python application i am ready to test your application how how you will test without knowing of knowledge of coding and all the thing because we are not depending on code we are depending on what we are depending on anyone requirements yes absolutely if you know that your requirements your testing is easy you can go for 5 years of experience you can go with 11 years of experience you can go with uh, i cannot tell in the online it is recording session you can go with 7 years fake experience also not a problem but what is important here you need to understand the requirements sorry sir i don't want to read requirements i can only go with uh, blindly testing me it's not possible only you need to go with what requirement no need to understand programming log logic or programming uh, not required all the things simply as a manual tester they will provide the requirement here if you understand the requirements clearly then your testing is dead easy dead easy you can easily test that your application but if you are not read this requirement simply you are adding something and you are adding something and you are clicking something and you are expecting your testing is completed means that is not a good testing understanding right so make sure that you need to check whether your testing is working correctly or not you need to check. is it clear guys so that is what the definition don't read it. try to understand what is the definition of testing any tested developed application any developed application whether it is working whether it is working according to what client requirements or not so don't worry they will provide the requirements they will they will provide a complete requirement you just go with the requirements you need to go through the requirements based on the requirements you need to understand if you give the admin and if you give the admin and if you click the login what page should come admin home page should be display if if you are giving admin here and you are giving admin and if you click login admin page is not getting you are getting home page you are getting what home page now whether it is bug or not can anyone tell me you are getting what home page so whether it is bug or not huh Bug. Yes, sir. How you bug. are telling it is a bug? Can you define why you are saying it is a bug? Yes. Uh, admin yes. page should not be displayed, sir. Yes, correct. Yes, you need to answer like that one. Yes, admin page should be displayed, but it is not showing the admin. If the if interview person is asked you twice, why why means don't change your answer. Some people are say no no yes 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 no no. means you are not constant you are not confident on your testing we are checking your confidence level not the knowledge knowledge once you get into the testing right you can learn all these things but confidence is very very important when you will get a confidence if you test properly if you know the understanding the requirements then only you can tell very confidently say so, some people yes sometime yes sometime no yes yes no no so means you are you are not test properly because you are not confident on your testing once you are confident on your testing your voice will come high see how high pitch is coming admin home page is not coming sir he saying so 
pitch is very high because he is more confident on that yes that is correct okay if you are not confident or oh, you are talking like this because you are not confident on that i think yes this is the bug actual result is not equal to expected result what is actual result admin home page what is expecting result admin home page so actual result actual result is not equal to expected result that we can call it as defect interview question what is defect defect means what what is called defect defect means what guys actual result is not equal to expected result what i am expecting i am not getting that one so that we can call it as what defect see if you tell like this in interview right easily they will select you you can it is a bug but you don't know what is bug only you are reading the definition it is a defect how can you say it is a defect then what is your answer there actual result is not equal to what i am expecting it is not getting i am expecting admin home page but i am getting home page so they both are not matching so that is defect understanding right is it clear guys clear sir yeah good so now yeah so now for the objective of testing why we need to do the testing i told you right not a bugs for quality purpose and correctness robustness reliability correctness means it should work always robustness means it should work critical functionality also reliability one of the most important one user friendly suddenly i ask you please provide your credit cards to login into the application means you will never login again this application because i am asking what your credit cards and debit cards that is not user friendly right so user friendly means what whether the user have access freely or not now i am asking your all information first name last name address pin code that is not a user friendly application right so if you want to buy any product in amazon they won't ask anything you can log in as a guest user see i am log in without log in i am able to access this application right this is what user friendly i can access any page but when i want to buy any product suppose i want to buy this product and add to the card and then it will ask my complete details because the payment when the payment will come it will ask please give your proper delivery address see that is that is what until unless i can access and i can view the products i can view that the thing understanding right so that we can call it as what uh, user friendly user friendly is one of the most important one what are the application you are developing right and what are the application you are testing right you need to check whether this application is what user friendly or not you need to check and there are a lot of example for user friendly uh what is this icon can anyone tell me what is this icon what is this icon you don't know right this there are a lot of icons will be there what is this icon i don't know what is this icon if you put your cursor here see i am just put my cursor here it is showing what export see then i can easily understand right this is the example of uh, user friendly this is what the example of user friendly if i am giving icon here but i am not giving any hint or a tool tip then uh, then end user will get a confused right what is this icon this is not user friendly so in case in your application in case in your application any icon is there you need to check whether you have a proper tool tip or not whether you are giving a proper naming or not you need to check see this icon you know as a tester you know what is this you, as a developer you know but end user don't know right what is this we don't know right so here we need to provide what the tool tips the tool tip is very very important see filters see search what is this export this is what help i don't know why this question mark then i if i put my cursor here right it is showing what help so this is the way whatever the application you are developing right you need to check whether this application is what user friendly or not interview they will ask you can you please define what are the user friendly in your application 
if you are real time tester then only you can say that if unknown icons or any icons will be provided if any unknown icons or icons uh, they provide in that case we will provide the name okay like tool tips we can simply say that it is a tool tip understanding right so usability is also one of the most important one and one more thing guys make sure ensuring is nothing but what make sure the product is what bug free before shipment and release so what is our role what is our responsibility whatever the stories is assign our name we need to test properly and we need to check it's a bug free before the shipment or release so you need to thoroughly you need to check whether it is working or not okay if it is working then you can say it is passed if it is not working means you can simply say that it is a failed understanding right now the question for you guys can we do a 100% of testing is it possible yes or no can we do 100% 100% testing is possible possible sir possible okay what about others can we do 100% of testing is it possible guys yes or no okay so 100% of testing is not at all possible guys so because see as a human we can do the mistake right we can we cannot recollect all the scenarios okay so there is no one cannot do 100% of testing recently microsoft we got the issue right what is the issue you heard about that issue what is that issue ah yeah. uh, then yeah. why uh, last time we are lot of people are suffer with that right because some update is went then immediately the they find some bug when that update is went right they are hitting that some issue so in this world that is what i am trying to say in this world no one cannot do 100% of testing it is not at all possible because i'm my thinking is completely a different your thinking is completely a different might if i miss the bug you can find out right if you if you miss the bug i can find out right so we can't think same always we similar think we can think but always we cannot think as the same right my thinking is completely different your thinking is completely different that is nothing but strategy I'm, my strategy is completely different your strategy is completely different so what we can say that we can say to the client 100% of testing is done okay 100% of testing is done but what we can say that we cannot say that after release you will or uh, without single bug uh, you will not get any bug we cannot say even client is also knows that we already test we already prove that it is working we are giving the confidence to where to the client hey don't worry you can launch this product happily we already tested we find this much of bugs so there are lot of uh, there are lot of testing is done don't worry you can happily launch launch uh, what you have the product right you can launch the happy because product is not 1 rupee or 2 rupees right it is a huge amount crores of money okay don't think that it is a 1 rupee or 2 rupees okay so without testing they will not launch any product in the market so that is one of the most important one guys so that is uh, you need to always remember uh, whether you are uh, testing is done properly or not without testing you cannot say my testing is done okay so no one will cannot do 100% of testing it is not at all possible okay that you need to remember always and one more thing if you are really want to go for a testing side what you need to remember you need to remember whether you are delivering the quality software product or not i am forcing you hey testing is done hey testing is done i am forcing you but you can without testing you cannot say yes i am done with my testing means you are compromising on your testing if you compromising on your testing right then will lose the product so never compromise on your product tell correctly hey i want one more hour i want uh, today i am not test that i can you give me a one day means we can compromise to the client but you are telling lie and you are not done your testing 
by forcefully or telling my testing is done then you cannot expect the quality product there right you cannot expect the quality product there so you are first time we will observe you every time you are telling lie means no one will dare to give any story to your name hey don't uh, don't give any story to that person because every time you are telling without testing you are saying simply i am done then it is very dangerous right so make sure that you need you delivering whether you are delivering delivering the quality software product or not we need to check okay and also always satisfy the user requirements if user is happy user is buying our product we are also happy our salary is will be increased we get lot of benefits and all the things and making the uh, making the software is more reliable i told you right it's a user friendly make always you need to check uh, whether your application is what user friendly or not and reducing the maintenance cost once the product will launch in the market uh, will we need to check uh, whether it we need to reduce the defects we cannot say defects will not come defect definitely it will come but we need to reduce that one 100 issues are coming means the client will not accept at least two three issues were coming means client will accept it and we will give the solution for that okay but 100 issues here after release uh, what testing team doing 100 issues are coming after release so so we need to reduce the maintenance cost so you need to reduce the testing things like uh, bugs and avoiding the customer dissatisfaction this is one of the most important customer is the god okay so if customer is happy we are also happy 100% hike will come okay if customer is not happy then we will also not happy because if customer is not using our product then it's very uh, no one will get benefit right so always we need to check whether the customer is happy or not okay advantages of testing entry question why testing is required quality product if without testing we cannot say that it is a quality product so always you need to say that the testing is required for what uh, quality purpose quality is one of the most uh, important one quality is one of the most important one right so for what reason we are doing the testing quality product and client satisfaction i told you right the client is happy or not we need to check if client is happy we'll get what uh, more and more business okay and finally what we can say that it's a bug free product but i told you right uh, we cannot do a 100% of testing it is not at all possible clear guys so we cannot do 100% of testing it is not possible okay that you need to remember that one okay now what test qualities is required for me suppose you am really want to go for a testing side so what qualities are required for me what qualities is required no compromise on the quality so no compromise if you observe the defect you need to report immediately if you are not report the defect right then you are compromising the quality on positive testing and negative testing what is called positive testing and what is negative testing anyone anyone have the idea what is positive testing and what is negative testing what is meaning of positive testing positive testing means what and what is negative testing means what anyone have the idea okay so the positive testing means what what is the meaning of positive testing so if you give the valid username valid password that we can call it as what a positive testing suppose if you are giving invalid username invalid password that we can we can say that negative testing see now i am giving both negative testing invalid username invalid password okay now if i click login right see the application should not allow so while you are doing the testing you need to check both uh, positive testing as well as negative testing so what is positive testing give the valid username valid password click on login see it will directly navigate to the dashboard so this is this kind of testing we can call it as what positive testing understanding right what is negative testing give the invalid data give the invalid data see i am giving what invalid data test test it should not work 
it is not working so while you are doing the testing right you need to check both uh, positive testing as well as negative testing that two are very 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 important now tell me guys which testing you will do first positive or negative positive testing yes correct so always you need to do the good positive testing we need to do the first because you need to check positive testing is done correct then what you need to do can you give a trial with the negative testing without giving anything simply give the wrong data wrong data without giving anything just click login so it is asking validations are working properly or not that you need to check now i am giving test now password i am gi not giving now see enter the password so it is also working so testing is not easy you need to test each and everything every uh, line to line you need to check so first you need to check the positive testing and after that you need to do the negative testing okay and analytical skills thinking is very very important i am telling go on the same route first you need to think what is happen if you go with the same route so you cannot go with blindly okay think what is happening okay so analytical means analytical skills means thinking you need to observe what is happening before and after before fix and after fix what is happening you need to observe all the things and ma mainly in testing patience is required lot of patience is required if you cannot uh, immediately you cannot get the bugs if you if you follow the process if you follow the functionality then only you can find the more and more more and more defects okay and finally i want to tell you one thing guys forget about what you learn here one is the most important is what uh, communication and retaining skills communication is very 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 important you need to communicate with the team you need to talk with your team if you find any defect uh, you need to discuss about the defect to the entire the team so here one of the major point is in interview communication and retaining skills you need to drop the mail to the team okay you need to uh, you need to write the mail to the entire the team what is happening so this two or is very 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 important is it clear so not only testing communication is very very important communication means what not a good english okay whatever you know you just speak without speaking sitting idle and uh, sitting calm right uh, that will not work in the real time okay because in real time they will check your communication first they will ask you the question what is happening in the application you need to explain them so the communication is one of the most important one okay and technical skills also you need to learn if you know the database if you know the uh, linux you know some other things like you are in good in aws you are good in azure or you are good in some tools uh, that is more advantage okay don't worry if you don't know anything also not a fine uh, not a problem because once you get into the organization right they will give you lot of uh, skills you can you can uh, what you can say that you can add all your skills okay analytical skills just i told you right you thinking is very very important attitude is the body language suppose the developer is not accepting your defect what you will do develop you are reporting the issue but developer is not accepting in that case what you will do what you will do anyone you are reporting the issue but developer is not accepting in that case what you will do we can raise defect ah huh, you will raise but the developer is not accepting with that inform to the team leader ah uh, yeah you are informing but uh, is that guy is not uh, compromised then what you need to do you are you guys are very near to that yeah so what i can do is screenshot you know right the screenshot the mm -hmm. issue what you observed right take a screenshot and report to them okay see i'm continuously orally i'm telling you guys are not understand in that case what i can do i can simply make a diagram and i can show right you can easily understand this topic 
the similar way in case the developer is not accepting he say that it is working in my system but you always remember it should it should work in all the systems so yeah, i am a developer i am doing some code changes in my laptop and i am saying that it is working from my end so as a tester you cannot uh, agree with that it should work in all the systems understanding right sometimes the developer says that it is it is working in my system can you please close the defect no you cannot close the defect until unless you need to confirm from your end how you confirm from your end you need to test on your local once it is working then only you can give the confirmation understanding right what i am trying to say so these all are very very important these all are what real time so developer says that it is working please close the defect means you cannot close the defect until unless you need to test from your end and you need to get a confirmation from your end but uh, then only you can pick the bottle in this kra or as esta uh then only you can say that agar am bottle in this kra okay that's fine uh then only you can say that your testing is completed is it clear guys anybody have any question so the confirmation is very very important from your qa and qa if you say that it is working means then only we can mark as a it's a pass otherwise we can mark as it's a fail anybody have any question guys so uh, if you have a good uh, so passion yes if you love the job then you can enjoy your job okay if you are saying that it is manual only if you feel like that you cannot continue the test if you see we have the equal importance as per the developer as a tester if you are giving too many bugs the developer will also give the more respect to the qa team so here the respect is equal to both of them okay so don't think that developer is high position like high high position and testing is low position it's not like that we both are equal if you give it with the more see we also know more knowledge in the product what is going on everything we can know because we are testing right so if you want to become a good tester you need to go with all the things like technical skills and analytical skills attitude productivity see whatever you work right that should be a quality work you are saying i spend 9 hours what is the productivity on 9 hours what is the result please tell me the result you know last night i i gone with 9 hours but uh, i am not understand anything means then it is a waste right you are spending 9 hours you are not getting anything means then the spending of the time is waste so if you sit 5 minutes or 5 uh, at least 20 minutes or 1 hour if you understand all the things means that is what productivity so productivity means what within a time you need to give a quality of work okay the quality of work means what you need to go with the requirements thoroughly you need to check and you need to go through the design documents you need to check then you need to give the quality of work understanding right simply you are testing in uh, normal way and you are saying that my testing is done means again they will give you rework again you need to recheck means we losing the productivity so productivity means what quality of work within the time we need to check okay. is it clear guys anybody have any questions okay. next class will be the uh, what is the testing types uh, what are the what are their structural and functional who will do the structural testing and who will do the functional testing we'll see then tomorrow okay and meanwhile anybody have any questions this or what add on session guys so it will be only 3 days after 3 days we are going with the regular sessions okay sir manual testing and real time rendu cheptara naaku selenium aithe oddu ha okay మాన్యువల్ చెప్తాం అండి యూ కెన్ జాయిన్ ఓన్లీ మాన్యువల్ ఓకే మాన్యువల్ ఇక్కడ మనకి ఏం చెప్తాం అంటే ప్రాజెక్ట్ చెప్తాం సో ఇక్కడ ఒక ప్రాజెక్ట్ ఉంటుంది అండ్ రియల్ టైమ్ థింగ్స్ ఉంటాయి సో మీకు మాన్యువల్ మీకు ఏమైనా రిఫరెన్స్ ఉందా ఆఫ్టర్ ఆఫ్టర్ కంప్లీషన్ ఆఫ్ మాన్యువల్ మీకు ఏమైనా రిఫరెన్స్ ఉందా ఆహా ఏం లేదు సర్ జస్ట్ మాన్యువల్ ఒకటి నేర్చుకున్నాను సర్ షర్ట్ 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 కంటిన్యూ చేయండి ఓకే నో ఇష్యూ నో ప్రాబ్లం అర్థం అవుతుంది కదా మీకు హా అర్థం అవుతుంది సర్ ఓకే ఓకే దెన్ ఇట్ ఇస్ ఫైన్ ओके सो मैनुअल आइन तरह से मेरे स्लोगा ऑटोमेशन को ना स्टार्ट चाहिए जो अंते इपुर मैनुअल जॉब्स होना है 
దర్ ఆర్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ అంటే మనం ఎత్తకాలి అంటే లాట్ ఆఫ్ మన రోజ్ ఎత్తగితే డెఫినెట్ గా రిమోట్ జాబ్స్ కొన్ని ఉన్నాయి మీరు ఎక్కడికి ఆఫీస్ కొన్ని వెళ్ళవు లేదు ఇంట్లోనే కూర్చొని చేయొచ్చు మనం మేడం అంటే ఇక్కడ మాన్యువల్ మనం ఏం కవర్ చేస్తాం అంటే మెయిన్ గా వి విల్ కవర్ విత్ బేసిక్ అండ్ వి నీడ్ టు కవర్ విత్ ఎజాయిల్ మెథియాలజీ మెయిన్ ఎజాయిల్ ఈజ్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఎజాయిల్ లో మనం స్టోరీస్ ఎలా అసైన్ అవుతాయి స్టోరీస్ ని ఎలా పిక్ చేసుకోవాలి స్టాండ్ అప్ కాల్ అంటే ఏంటి ట్రమ్ కాల్ అంటే ఏంటి రెట్రో స్పెక్ట్రో మీటింగ్స్ అంటే ఏంటి స్పిన్ రెట్రో స్పిన్ ప్లానింగ్ అసలు రిలీజ్ కి ఎలా చేస్తాము ఇవన్నీ ఎలా జరుగుతాయి అంటే ఎజాయిల్ మెథియాలజీలో మనకి ఐడియా వస్తుంది అండ్ ఇంకోటి ఏంటంటే జీరా జీరా ఈజ్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఇప్పుడు మీరు ఒక ఇష్యూ ఫైండ్ అవుట్ చేశారు ఆ ఇష్యూని ఎక్కడ రిపోర్ట్ చేయాలి అంటే ఎలా రిపోర్ట్ చేయాలి సో దాని యొక్క ప్రయారిటీ ఏంటి ద ప్రయారిటీ హయ్యా లోవా సివియారిటీ ఎలా ఉంది సో ఇవన్నీ మనం జీరాలో చూస్తాం జీరా అయిన తర్వాత టెస్ట్ కేసెస్ చూస్తాం టెస్ట్ కేసెస్ ఎలా రాయాలి టెస్ట్ కేసెస్ ఎలా ఐడెంటిఫై చేయాలి అవి రాస్తాం దాని తర్వాత ఒక ప్రాజెక్ట్ చేస్తామండి మనం ఇది ఒక ప్రాజెక్ట్ ఇది లైవ్ అప్లికేషన్ ఇది స్టాక్ ఎలా క్రియేట్ చేస్తాం సప్లైయర్స్ ఎలా క్రియేట్ చేస్తాం పర్చేజెస్ ఎలా క్రియేట్ చేస్తాం సో ఇదంతా మనం ఒక లైవ్ అప్లికేషన్ చేయడం వల్ల మీకు హ్యాండ్స్ ఆన్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ అన్నది వస్తుంది నో డౌట్ మీరు ఒక టూ టు త్రీ ఇయర్స్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ వెళ్ళిపోవచ్చు ప్రాక్టీస్ చేయాలి without practice we can't go with practice only we can okay sir after 25 days resume class start out there sir automation start out there okay automation start sir videos is there sir meru ha ha videos and material ko na isthar ande ye e roz the a roz video isthar material ko na ha okay mere em ledu mere oka concept artham cheskoni మీరు ఎలా టెస్ట్ చేయగలము అనేది మీరు రోజు ఆలోచించుకుంటే మీకు ఈజీ అయిపోతుంది ఇదేం అంత టఫ్ ఏం కాదు ఓకే సార్ బట్ ఐడియా ఉండాలి థింకింగ్ ఉండాలి మాట్లాడాలి కమ్యూనికేషన్ ఇస్ వెరీ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ స్పీక్ ఏదైనా ఏదైనా రాంగ్ ఆర్ రైట్ యూ షుడ్ స్పీక్ ఓకే ఓకే ఎనీథింగ్ ఎల్స్ అండ్ ఏవన్ ఉందా ఓకే స్లోగా వెళ్తాం ప్రాబ్లం ఏం లేదు మీకు అర్థమవుతుంది ఇన్ కేస్ మీకు ఏదైనా అర్థం అవ్వకపోయినా యూ కెన్ ఆస్క్ మీ యూ కెన్ స్టాప్ అట్ దట్ పాయింట్ అంతా అయిపోయిన తర్వాత నాకు ఏమి అర్థం అవ్వలేదు అంటే దాన్ని ఇట్స్ ద వేస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద టైమ్ ఓకే మీకు ఏ పాయింట్ అయినా అర్థం అవ్వలేదు అనుకోండి యూ కెన్ స్టాప్ అట్ దట్ పాయింట్ సో అప్పుడు ఏం చేయొచ్చు మనం ఒక ఎగ్జాంపుల్ తీసుకొని ఒక చెప్పచ్చు ఓకే ఇస్ ఇట్ క్లియర్ రైట్ so what we can do is ippudu varaku mana em anukunnam what is testing testing enduku chestam what are the asala uh, testing positive testing ante enti negative testing ante enti ani chusam but tomorrow asala testing types enti uh, white box testing ante enti black box testing ante enti ever white box testing chestaru ever black box testing chestaru what is the importance of black box and what is the importance of uh, white box anni rep chustam okay so then you will get a clear idea asla ela cheyala okay anything else guys the last call sir yeah yeah go ahead sir uh, myself bargavi sir may i discuss a personal conversation with you so can you please stay on the call sure 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 uh, yes. do one thing uh, you can take my email id okay because this session will not be support one second i am sharing my email id okay you can yeah. drop your uh... Uh, but i this is unrelated to the course okay okay yeah. so okay. only just 5 minutes sir. okay okay go ahead then fine no issues okay so actually uh, we have a class from 7 to 8 o'clock uh, 18th batch oh, oh, oh. so last friday and today they said uh, to attend to this demo class Yes, so yes, yes. we are going to continue the classes sir? yeah that is what i told you right uh, this is only for the add on session 
टूडे एंड टूमोरो विल बी देयर एंड डे आफ्टर द टूमोरो इज ऑल्सो दे विल बी देयर आफ्टर दैट वी विल कंटिन्यू सी वी ऑलरेडी डेड टूडे वन स्लाइड राइट टूमोरो इज मोस्टली व्हाट इज व्हाइट बॉक्स टेस्टिंग एंड ब्लैक बॉक्स टेस्टिंग एंड एज द एलसी सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट लाइफ साइकिल द नेक्स्ट डे वी विल गो विद द पीएमपी देन नेक्स्ट वी विल कंटिन्यू फॉर एवरीवन विद द सेम गॉट इट राइट या ओके सर this is a add on session because they won't uh, add on session so once uh, mostly two days after the two days we all are uh, we can continue with the same batch only okay? okay so that is what no need to if you are uh, if you want to uh, continue you can continue otherwise wait for two days okay so two days then we will start everyone at the same session okay, okay. got it right? yeah you will okay. complete don't worry thank yeah you. thank you so much yeah thank you जस्ट थैंक यू